Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Removal of a vacant building, more workforce housing, improved pedestrian movement in the area, including a connection to the Nine Mile Creek Regional Trail. Many community benefits are coming together with a multifamily housing project in the Cahill District. At its meeting May 21st, the City Council granted preliminary approvals to allow for the construction of Amundsen Flats on Amundsen Avenue by MWF Properties. MWF Properties plans to tear down the existing Waldorf Nevins Dry Cleaners building and build a four-story, 62-unit affordable housing project on the 1.2-acre site. Plans include dedication of an easement along the South Lot line for future construction of a connection from Amundsen Avenue to the Nine Mile Creek Regional Trail. Amundsen Flats would serve families whose average income is 60% or less of the area median income. MWF Properties has committed to maintaining that level of affordability for at least 40 years with a mixture of one, two, and three bedroom units. If you think about how many different threads have come together to get us to this day, to get an all affordable housing project with this quality workmanship, the parking underneath, the laundry in every unit, and to be able to get a start on building the vision of the 70th and Cahill area is extraordinary. MWF will need to obtain final rezoning, development plan, and plan approvals before moving forward with the project. A beloved Edina institution is back in business after two years of refurbishment, and its return was met with celebration by the community. Edina TV's Matt Eckholm is on the fairway with the story. The sound of golf balls being struck down the fairway will be filling the air at Braemar Golf Course once again. On May 15th and 17th, hundreds of golfers participated in early preview rounds of the renovated course ahead of the public reopening on May 18th. The staff and everybody out here is excited to get everybody back on the golf course. It's, it's been a long time coming and we're definitely looking forward to a, a golf season of, of just getting people out there to play and, and getting to see people that we haven't seen in a couple years. Those couple of years saw Braemar Golf Course close for renovation back in 2016. An excessive rain in 2017 delayed the reopening from fall of 2018 to this spring. But the wait is finally over, and golfers are getting their first impressions of the new course. It plays very smooth so far. We've only played about five holes so far, but uh, the outline and the decor, it's, it's very nice. It's not too easy, not too difficult. It's a nice, nice layout what we've seen so far. That mix of challenge and accessibility is exactly what Braemar was aiming for with the renovation. What we've done is we have six sets of tees out here. We have a championship set of tees, and then we have the E, the D, the I, N, and A for Edina. And it's based on your ability. So if you're a championship golfer, you can play from the championship or the E tees. If you're a beginner golfer, uh, you can play from the A tees. We wanted golfers to play the appropriate yardage, not necessarily just the color they're used to playing. Golfers of all skill levels got to enjoy opening festivities that included a reception, live music, and even a live radio broadcast of golfing show Tee to Green with common man Dan Cole. Braemar was a nice facility. It was originally 18 holes with a nine hole executive. Then they added nine a number of years ago. They had 27 holes, but the extra nine was built up into the bluffs. It was a little tough. It was a little roller coastery. And so I think they decided, let's renovate the golf course. Let's build a more updated golf course, something that's more like the golf courses of the 2000s. And that's what they did. And so I think they're excited about uh, the results of the renovation. The excitement of the reopened Braemar Golf Course came complete with fine weather for the early invitation rounds. But as the public opening approached, so too did a major thunderstorm. Was it about to rain on Braemar Golf Spray a second time? The rain is not going to stop our golfers. They, they've been waiting a long time for this new course to open up and they're just too excited and they just want to get out there and try it out for themselves. It's the old, uh, if you're a hardcore and you can only play on weekends and you love the game of golf, you're not going to let a, a little weather prevent you from playing. From the Championship 18 at Braemar Golf Course, for Adina TV, I'm Matt Eckholm.
Over 1,300 golfers registered to play the new championship 18 course at Braemar during the opening first four days. To check out the new course for yourself, visit braemargolf.com to book a tee time. A small area plan for 44th and France received high praise from the city's Heritage Preservation Commission. The commission awarded the plan its 2019 Heritage Award for making preservation a priority. It was presented to small area plan co-chairs Sheila Barubi and Jimmy Bennett at a city council meeting in May, recognized as Preservation Month in Edina. The nomination and the Heritage Preservation Commission felt that the neighborhood volunteers as well as the small area plan work group members should be recognized for their efforts in heritage preservation and preserving that village-like character. During the small area planning process, three properties in the area were determined to be eligible for heritage landmark designation and were identified for protection because they prominently contribute to the historic character and authenticity of the dinoside of France Avenue in that area. Those properties are the former Oddfellows Hall, former Griffin Drugstore, and Convention Grill. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.